For the lowest level cyclone, a category one, the winds have to reach 65 kilometres an hour. That's sustained winds, averaged over at least 10 minutes. With this sort of weather, you can expect damage to trees, perhaps even cars, but houses are mostly fine. Category two tropical cyclones pack maximum average wind speeds of 90 to 120 kilometres an hour. These are destructive and power failures are a real risk, as well as minor damage to homes. Category three tropical cyclones, they pack winds 120 to 160 kilometres an hour and the gusts can get up to 200 kilometres an hour. Um, these are severe tropical cyclones. Damage to buildings is noticeable and power failure likely because the infrastructure just can't hold up. Category four tropical cyclones have wind speeds up to 200 kilometres an hour with gusts approaching 280. It's incredibly dangerous with significant structural damage likely and large airborne debris that's extremely dangerous. Category five tropical cyclones have wind speeds over 200 kilometres an hour and gusts over 280. It's the highest emergency category and there will be widespread destruction. But despite the environmental damage, the flora and fauna of our tropical regions have evolved to not only survive, but flourish in the months and years after a destructive impact. Indeed, many tropical areas rely on the life-bringing rainfall that these systems produce. Without it, much of Northern Australia would be far more arid. Even if a cluster of thunderstorms never advances beyond tropical low strength, they can still have a tremendous impact on the mainland, pushing flooding rains hundreds if not thousands of kilometres inland. And despite their southern formation, tropical cyclones aren't a random weather pattern. They actually serve a life-sustaining purpose. They act as the pressure cooker of the global climate, releasing energy in the form of heat from the surface into the upper atmosphere, which then cools as it mixes with air on its way towards the poles, helping to moderate temperatures and weather across the globe.